Right, okay, so that was kind of messy. Um, I don't know what happened, but the game just sort of stopped at a certain point, and I hadn't saved since, I guess, the last time you guys saw me save. So, you know, at that point, night had turned into day, so I decided to go back to the ranch, and then I went back to the village, and as you can see, we found our way into the fishing shack, so, yay. Um, it's now night, and the reason that's important is because uh, when I went to the ranch where the farmer was asleep last time, during the day he said that something was spooking his Pokemon, and he asked us to go and check it out at night. So that's what we're going to do now, and I think you guys are all cut up. But before we go to the farm, to the ranch, we're going to try fishing. I guess we're going to have to... Wait, no, we just go right here. Okay. And I think we all we have is an old rod. Which we just got from one of these fishermen right here. But let's see if we can hook anything. Right. Yeah, it's ice fishing. So, like, I don't know. There might be something interesting or there might be nothing interesting at all. Who knows? Alright, let's see what we got. I think this is our first water type. Oh my god. It's like a water Dunspars. I love it! I want to catch it! But everything that I have is so strong! <laughs> oh god, um... Uh... I don't know what to do here. Absorb is the weakest thing that I have. Um... Ah, crap. Is Coblin my... I think Coblin's like my weakest dude. I don't know what, like, Fury Slice would be safe if it only hits like twice. Pablosa is a good, decent way to go. Maybe Cub Zero with an Icy Terrain, or not Icy Terrain, Ice Shard. I don't know. Okay, let's try Pablosa, and maybe we could land a Scratch. Okay, it's just splashing. Ah, no, not Pokemon. Okay, at least it knows more than just, uh, more than just Splash. That's what I was worried about for a second there. Not that Whirlpool is exactly anything crazy, but still. Okay, okay, that's fine. It's, it's a lower level. We can do this. Let's go to Cub Zero. Come on, Water Dunsparce, I want you. I want you so bad. Oh god, that wasn't even close. Oh, uh, you know, an experience share would be great for this dude. Oh god, we're gonna try an eye shard and hopefully that won't... Okay, okay, we're good. We're good. I love it though. It's 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 literally water type Dunsparce. It that's that's exactly what it looks like. Come on, come on. Hey, we got it. All right, what's it actually called? Ford, Fortify. Okay. Only Fortify that learn to care for others will. Oh, it evolves. Though they are numerous and hardy, few Fortify evolve due to their inherently selfish nature. That's cool, actually. So, I guess it evolves with friendship, maybe? Well, well, we'll teach it to love. We will teach it to love. Okay. All healed up. Let, let's check out Fortify here. What's its nature? What are, what are its stats? Lonely nature. That is actually perfect. Alright. Um, adaptability. Powers up moves at the same time. That's a really good ability. Kind of sucks that it's uh, pro attack and not pro special attack. But, you know, whatever. I can't complain considering lonely nature for something with like that whole selfish stick going on. That is perfect. And I'm saving this game immediately to make sure that whatever it was that happened doesn't happen again. Okay. Um, 
Let's see what's down this way. Let's get to that ranch. And I guess we're going to be doing that annoying thing of, you know, throwing uh, Fortify out to start and then switching him and all that just to level him up a little bit. But that's alright. The rest of our Pokemon are pretty strong. Minus Pablosa. Did Pablosa have any items? No. Alright, let's go see what's haunting that ranch, shall we? Or let's battle first. Against the fawning. Okay, you know that's that's about the same level. Oh, and you know pound as well. Okay. Yeah, that's right. You're gonna miss. You're gonna miss the awesomeness that is four to fry. Okay, I have no idea what Fortify evolves into, but you just know this is going to be like one of those Magikarp into Gyarados situations. Oh, okay. Of course that was a critical hit. Well, Goblin, guess you're going to clean up. Oh. Oh, wait, actually, yeah. Quick Claw would probably make more sense for Fortify now. So, okay, let's transfer that item over. And let's see. There you are. Okay, man, back to the Pokemon Center we go. I don't know, like, it took that Ice Shard from a level 18 Cub Zero pretty well. I guess I figured it'd be... Well, I don't know, it's a critical hit, though. I guess we can't judge its defenses too much. It could have taken, like, a regular tackle. Let's let's actually go to this ranch and see what's spooking all the mill tank kind of things. Oh, I I don't remember what the name was. I mean, we'll find out when we're there, obviously. Was it over here, I think? Yeah, up there. There we go. Dream Dairy, is that what they're called? Dream Dairies? Yes, it is a Dream Dairy. Okay, so you're all... Oh, oh, okay. It's using Dream Eater. What the hell? Dream Dairy looks steamed. Dream Dairy bounds towards you. Oh, okay. What? That's... Both adorable and terrifying at the same time. That's actually a really cool ability. You look like you might be an electric type. I can't tell. So I'm going to switch over to Coblin. Okay, I have Cotton Spore. We can, we can deal with that. We can deal with Cotton Spore. Wait, no. Okay, okay. So far, so good. We might as well catch the Dream Dairy at this point. I'm just saying. I mean, it's technically stealing from that farmer, dude. But, ah, it, it attacked us. Who cares? And we got a Dream Dairy. Oh, it's a Psychic type. Oh, that's actually kind of cool. Despite its adorable looks, Dream Dairy is a ferocious predator. It devours the dreams of people, leaving its victims disoriented and fatigued. Oh. Oh, so it's kind of like counting sheep, sort of. Okay, what is that? Is that like a Zorork looking thing? Oh. Macabre. 
Oh. Huh. <laughs> this dude just got a... Okay. Wooly sweater. What the heck is that? Oh, okay. See, I thought we'd be catching this dude right here. Macabra. But I guess we got a Dream Dairy instead. What do you know? Confusion. Oh, you know Psybeam. That's actually not bad. Alright, we got a Dream Dairy. Let me look in here real quick. Okay, well I wish we actually got to see what that Macabre thing looks like, but oh well. Guess we've got to wait for the 3D release. Uh, weren't there three of you before I caught one of you? Well, whatever. I should probably save again, because paranoia. Okay, and we are going over to where we were last time. And going into the rustling forest. So, oh god, it's these hairless rat things. And Fortify is probably not going to be the best choice to go up first. Cub Zero, let's go. Take him out. Nope. Oh god. I need to stop doing that. I really need to stop doing that. Okay. Oh, so close to the trainer, yet so far. What are you, Scalarba? Yeah, Intimidate is about right for that. Uh, you are a bug type, clear to see, so let's go Floribree. You, you see what I did there? I made a little loop foam, okay. Ouch, okay, that one stung. Haha, <laughs> bug trainers. Easy experience in coming. Larvabide, okay, this is what our rival had, and I'm blanking on her name right now. That's alright, she'll come back later, and I'll remember it then. No, ah, uh, god. All right, Larvabi Day down. And there's another one, okay. Well, we're just gonna be jumping between Fortify and whatever else we got. Uh, Goblin, do you want some, nah, let's just go to Florbury. That way we get a one hit kill. Oh, Supersonic, okay. Oh, oh my god. It's because I keep like pressing the space bar and it just automatically does it. You know, it's awful. No excuse. Okay, at least that hit it. And a crit at that. Sweet. Oh, there we go. It's Dunsparce and Galissapod. Or not Galissapod. Wimpod. There we go. It's like if Dunsparce and Glissapod have a, had a love child, that's what Fortify looks like. There we go. I figured it out. Oh, so close to leveling. Okay, now we can go to Coblin.
See, that works out great. Hey, I did it. I wonder if you're like a bug dark type or a bug ghost type or anything like that. Oh, oh god, oh lord. That was not pleasant. I really am excited for Coblin of all Pokemon to evolve. I think uh, she's the one who really, really needs it. These ponchos, man. Oh yeah, we definitely need to get Fortify away from the electric type. Let's try out Dream Dairy, actually. Well, so long as that Kawadi doesn't just knock it out. Oh, that was intense. All right. Now we got a harpy, so we can go back to fortify, no problem. Oh man, that was a lot of experience for him, sweet. And let's go Cub Zero. Oh, oh, I did it again. I do love me some Ice Fang. Just don't even pay attention to it anymore. It's just, it's gonna happen. All right. Gonna continue our way through the forest, see a little ranger girl or something. Oh, Picnicker. There we go. That's what they are. Yes? Yes, Picnicker. Lorbury or Cub Zero? Uh, let's do Cub Zero. Oh, God. Please don't die. Please don't die. Okay, we're good. Okay, let's let's see let's see if Fortify can just take it home. Oh, oh, it might be able to. Yeah, Fortify. Puppets. What, what's a puppet? Oh, God, that's like a sickeningly adorable rabbit. What are the odds that you are currently holding a berry? Nope. Well, Fortify is leveling, that's good. Okay, hold on, there's berries, what are, oh no. Wait a minute, I have potions too. Why don't I use the potions? Damn it, me, use the potions. And get away from this Scalarva. Okay, let's 
check out these berries first. I don't remember what lapis are, but I think those are orins next to it. Alright, well, let's see what the berries do. Oh, PP versus HP. Okay, that's fine. Um... Potion. We need a potion. On a lot of things. Floribree's gonna get a potion. And Coblin's gonna get a potion. And that leaves us with one potion, so Dream Dairy's not gonna get one for now. I don't know if I'm actually gonna use Dream Dairy much after this, or if I'm just gonna PC it. I might just PC it, honestly. This tree just looked so suspicious. Yeah, yeah, see, with the Intimidate, it's like, it's not worth it to trouble ourselves with it, you know? Because Fortify is not exactly that strong. Okay, so there's like a little dead end. Oh, there might be an item in that dead end, maybe. Every time there's like a little inconspicuous area. Hey, there we go. Yeah, I didn't think there was anything else. All right, now the bug type trainer, but I see a sign, so that might mean that we're nearing the end of it all. And you're gonna have Intimidate, okay, that's great. So we are going to swap over to Floribri. Oh, Peblosa got an item. Don't use- ah, oh, keeps using Bug Bite. And that, like, actually hurts. Muscoon. I have no idea what that could be. Alright, Fortify. That, uh, I guess, is what uh, Skalarva evolves into, by the looks of it. I think it's like their Metapod version, essentially. No berry. Great. That was all for not. Oh well. Oh, but you can't actually do anything, can you? Oh, bug off. How about bugger off? Oh, that's wouldn't work. Not in a kid's game, if this counts as a kid, kid's game. So, do we, like, can cut clear logs in this game, maybe? Kapig. Okay, yeah, we know Kapig. Let's try a Whirlpool and see if it gets us anywhere. It doesn't. And you're sand attacking. Great. Well, let's uh, let's go to Coblin. Coblin hasn't really had any action for a little while, and we healed him, so... Her. Let's make her earn that potion. You know, I should've just used Pursuit, shouldn't I? Yep, definitely should've. That's alright, we're making it work. Potter. I don't know what... Did we see a Potter yet? I don't think we saw a Potter. But I'm guessing it's something with water and paws. It is exactly that. Which means we go to our trusty grass type.
and Mega Drain the living life out of it. There we go, that's what I like to see. Sure, kiddo. Oh man, this uh, this forest is pretty big, huh? Ooh, pretty sure you're part grass. So, oh right, the blow says that item that I keep forgetting to take from it. All right, that's all right. So lucky. A raccoon? Is it like a raccoon? Is that what the pun is there? I guess it is. What are you supposed to be? Jeez. I don't even know. I'd love to go into Coblin, Coblin right now, but I don't think I can. Like, I, you kind of look like Kawadi, but I don't think you evolved from it. I, I don't even know what to make of you. You're kind of bulky, I guess. Like pretty average overall by the looks of it, but uh, it, it's a, something new. Like a ring tail. No, it's not even a ring tailed lemur because I guess raccoons have ring tails, so. But it does look more lemur y than it does raccoon y. But yeah, a raccoon. A raccoon, I guess. Netball, nice. And potentially hidden item right here? Nope, nope, and nope. Okay, hey, it's a Kawadi. We don't actually even have. Oh no. It's faster, isn't it? Yep. Uh, this is annoying when you just have to like switch just to escape. That was a good turn to switch. Let's get out of there. Right, before I forget, Pablosa, you have an item for me. Oh, it's a potion. Nice. Well, if need be, we will use that on... Ka oh, God. Oh, we gotta go around this way, by the looks of it. I guess this is the Kawadi part of the forest. Yeah, I'm just sort of at the point of, alright, let's get through this forest. Everything is dying. Tickling your knees? I didn't realize knees were t were ticklish. All right, Mustberry. So we're just gonna take that out with Floribri. Well, that's a tick move. Ah, but take that. Do 
You only lost because you were itchy. You just said it was tickling you, not... Okay, whatever. Kids these days. Okay, bug enthusiasts, lovely. Battle, we might not do any more of the switch things just because uh, Flora Breathe is kind of low on health. And I'm like, I'm a minimalist. I try to uh, avoid. What is that? It's like a water score. Oh, okay, and it missed. Great. I was about to say that I kind of try to avoid using too many potions typically. That's just like a me thing. So I don't really think about it. Like, I've already used more potions in this playthrough than I probably have ever done in any other game that I've ever played. Oh, it's the Metalhead dude. I really do like that design. A lot. Oh, if only it was that easy to get a girl's number. Oh well. Alright. Is it... Mm, guess it'd be this way, right? Yeah, there we go. Crossing a bridge. And... What is that? Oh, oh, evil team, evil team! the team name here? Thug question. Oh, we don't even get to learn the name of the team. I mean, fair enough. Okay, so Flora, Flora Bree we go. Taunt does nothing to us. A Mega Drain to save the day. I have a cobble and I know them in and out. Except really not at all compared to where most people who actually live in this region would be. But, you know, I'd like to think I have a working knowledge. I have no idea what a pomperunt is, but okay. Oh man, that is, uh, that's really angry looking. I'm guessing it's another dark type. Uh, God, it's like teenage angst personified. <laughs> oh, clearly doesn't uh, doesn't hold that much under pressure, which I guess makes sense for the teenage angst thing. Oh God, that was a big hit. Alright, we did it. Team Aurum. Okay, there we go. Uh, now we're fighting this dude. Great. Low on potions, but uh, whatever. Hey, this dude again. Okay, um... 
I'm gonna say the safe thing to do here is to switch into like Pebalosa or Dream Dairy or someone to just to just take a hit. Take a hit for the team. So we can safely switch into a Flora Brief. Sorry, Pablosa. And then Mega Drain with Overgrow. That's a one hit kill. Perfect. Just as I like him. Chimpoka. What the heck's Chimpoka? Oh, okay, it's a chimp. It's a chimp. And I can't tell if it's a fighting type or an electric type, so that's uh, even better for me. All it used was Leer. That doesn't really help me here. Okay, it is a fighting type. Perfect. Because, like, it had yellow bands, so I was like, oh, it could be electric, maybe. But it's doing a kicking pose, so... These guys just look like James in a red wig. <laughs> hey, a super potion. Sweet. I'm guessing we're, like, out of the forest just about, though, right? We should save, just in case. This is a big forest. Oh wait, here we go. West route three, east route four. Hey, there we go. Oh wow. Scenic indeed. But like, I need to heal up. Do we have a revive for Cub Zero? Because I feel like he would come in handy here. We don't. Oh, please tell me that you're a traveling nurse. You're not. You're a aroma girl or something. Aroma lady, yep. Oh man, yeah, we are, uh, we are hurting over here. Ladies and gents, we are hurting just a little bit. Oh. At least Fortify has like jumped five levels already, so that's that's good. And hopefully its friendship is rising too, considering it has only been knocked out the one time so far. Oh god. It's like, I started to not do it, and then I started doing it again, it, oh, it's awful. I'm sure it annoys me more than it annoys you guys. Grass Whistle was what again? Oh, right, okay. Ah, uh, I guess we could get rid of Absorb for it, maybe. Because we don't really need Absorb considering we have Mega Drain. But Grass Whistle always, or it, it has awful accuracy. I don't know. Uh, maybe we should pass. Because, like... Absorb can at least, like, do some damage in a clutch situation if we run out of PP for Mega Drain. Grass Whistle is just way too unreliable. I just really hope there's a village here somewhere. Oh, wait, there's a house. Maybe they'll heal us. Please. Heal me. Oh, 
or give me berries. Oh, nice, a big root. Yes, that's perfect. I love big roots. I'm gonna give that to, uh, Flor Florbri. Oh my god, I can't say it. Immediately. There you are. Yes, very fascinating. <laughs> oh dear. Please don't paralyze me. Now, Big Root, for those who don't know, what it does is, like, essentially, whereas normally Mega Drain would only restore about half the damage it does, uh, with the Big Root, it restores all the damage. So that's pretty great for us. Especially considering we're so beat up right now. Entrainment. Crap, what's entrainment? Entrainment. The user dances to compel the target to mimic it, making the target's ability the same as you. That's... that's not good. Adaptability is a great ability. Welp. Item. Oh, okay. Struggle bug. Fair enough, fair enough. Okay, let me just check the map here. Uh, well, we're certainly closer to the Legato Crossroads than we are to going back to Quaver Town, so I guess we just gotta suck it up at this point. Okay, now that's where we just went. See, Florbri is like getting so much. Whoa, what the hell? Flauger and Pepit. Okay, so we've seen Pepit before. Flauger is kind of new to me here. But, okay, Flauger looks pretty cool. I'm not gonna lie. Alright, that was pretty solid. We just sort of took him out. No biggie. Okay, we gotta be getting close to that next village, though, right? For finding flowers. Well, I don't really wanna find flowers there, guy. Oh, but you're a gardener, so of course you care about that. Okay, I'm guessing the next town is probably beyond this bridge, right? It's like, it can't be that far at this point, right? Romeo. Okay, Romeo. Fair enough. There better be some sort of Juliet equivalent. Okay, getting some berries here. Uh, 
up and maybe an item? Not even an item. Probably a good spot for like a better rod or or surf or something. More larvabide. Alright, let's get across this bridge and head into more grass. And there's a Gromeo. Okay, come on. Um, yeah, we're like right there, and we're we're just gonna finish off as we get to. Um, well, as we get to the new town. Oh, a Dream Dairy. Okay, well, we took one of you guys down already. Oh man, if you use a Psychic Attack, then Coblin will be set. Please use a Psychic Attack. Yes, perfect. Excellent switching idea. Come on, one-shot it, one-shot it. Aww. Oh. Yep, okay. Sorry, Coblin. I thought we'd be smart. Okay, well, if Double Slap really only did double, then, you know, we would have made it out alive. Sorry, buddy. number acquired. Okay, we made it, guys. We made it to... Oh, Legato Town. Oh, whoa. Okay, something's happening here. Oh, that dude is in the saloon. Okay, well, now you know what we're doing first thing next episode is we are going into that there saloon. Let's just heal everything. Alright guys, so this is where I'm going to leave you. Thank you for watching. Please leave a like. Please leave a comment. Please subscribe if you want more. And we'll be back to playing some more Pokemon Sage very, very soon. Alright guys, peace out.